Welcome to Contact. We're so glad you're with us today. We're in an amazing series called Be Reminded. And so today our title is Upheld. And so, um, you know, Upheld gives you the uh, feeling of a foundation, something that is very strong, mm -hmm. you know, it's something that's holding everything together. And right. So um, that's going to be our, our theme for today. Yeah, and the world that we live in, every single thing that is known to man is upheld by the word of his power. And that's out of the scripture. That's, that's what right we're out gonna, of the Bible. We're gonna read. That's what we're going to talk yeah. about today. And then we're going to talk about things in your life. Well, you might feel like uh, things are shaky or uncertain or you're not, uh, you know, things are falling apart even. We're going to show you how to get your life on a firm foundation, standing on the Word of God. So this is going to be a great message today. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Billy Burke is coming back to FLM this August 7th through the 9th. Experience God's healing power and restoration like never before. For more information, visit our website at faithlandmarks.org. Are you looking for a church that's active, engaged in outreach, and based on the biblical foundations of God's Word? If so, then Faith Landmarks Ministries is not only that, but much more. For over 35 years, Faith Landmarks Ministries has been teaching the Word of God, training up disciples, and expanding the kingdom. Through the five-fold vision God has given to Pastors Randy and Cherie, we make it our mission to fulfill the great commission that Jesus commanded in His Word. We invite you to come worship, receive, and fellowship with like-minded believers every Sunday morning at 8.30 and 10.30 a.m., Sunday evenings at 7 p.m., and Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. Check out our website at faithlandmarks.org and view recent messages, see upcoming events, download study materials, and much more. You can also stay connected connected with us via any of our social media services. We invite you to come experience real undoctrinated Christianity where the Word of God is brought to life in you. We look forward to seeing you here at Faith Landmarks Ministries. Welcome back. We're really glad that you're with us today. We're actually on the third part of a series, and uh, this is kind of the place where we it, it thickens up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're, we're talking about upheld, and uh, th this is uh, just a simple thought for every person watching this. Everything that you have ever known, everything that you know now, Everything that will ever be in the future is all upheld by the word of his power. Why don't you read I'll that? I'll read that to you. This is in the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Who being the brightness of his glory, and that's talking about Jesus, and, express, and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. And literally, Jesus' name is the Word of God. Yeah, the reason why he's sitting down is because he... The work he, is finished. Everything is finished. He, When he died on the cross at Calvary, everything that had been prophesied, spoken into the earth about his coming and his sacrifice and the plan of God and the kingdom of God, the reason why Jesus got to sit down is because now everything is being upheld is you know the the sun the moon the stars everything is the the control of the waters of the oceans and and you know and really god's feeding the whole planet right every taking everything care of everybody is upheld by the word of his power jesus is sitting there because it's all being upheld just by that word of god now we're talking about be reminded right so Right over in Hebrews chapter 2, the next chapter, verse 1, okay. says, Therefore, because all these things are so, because of what Jesus has done, and he's sitting at the right hand, it says, Therefore, we ought 
to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard. So that's another way of saying don't forget about everything you've been taught up to this point. Right. Everything that's been said, lest at any time. Now, one translation says, lest at any time you should drift. Right. This version <clears throat> says you should let them slip. Yeah. Well, the thing that happens when you drift is you're not being you're not attached to anything that's keeping you anchored and steady and in place. Right. If you are if uh, you're upholding all things by his word, everything is sure and supported. Right. But if we forget, mm -hmm. if we don't remember what he said and what he's promised, when when we uh, all of a sudden we wake up one day and we don't we don't recognize where we are. Yeah. Because we have drifted so far away from the foundation of the truth of God's word that we're out in no man's land. Right. So here's a simple example also just to illustrate that and what we're talking about is when God spoke light into existence, he said, let there be light. Mm -hmm. There's still light. So all of this time, light has been here. Yes. And, and the reason why light is still as we know it is because he's never taken the word back. Right. And so all things are upheld by the word of his power. That's one of his words. Yeah, and some, some people standing on earth think that the sun is revolving around us. <laughs> Right. You know, from an earthly viewpoint. Right. But God placed the, the sun and the moon and, the, and, and placed them all. And we actually revolve around the sun. The right. reason why we have the, the night and the day is because of where we have gone and to, the, yeah, the, where we've revolved around. Right. But so how, what are some practical things that we can do to keep ourselves reminded to stay on path, to stay on track so we don't drift away from the things that God has already spoken and promised and mm. wants us to do. Two really practical things is number one, never stop reading your Bible because right. you need to feed that into your spirit. Number two is always give God the credit for the things that you know he's doing. Right. Because what that does is it, it builds a memory in you of the things that he's done for you. You know, and actually Peter talks about that. Mm -hmm. And I really, really like this uh, particular verse. Uh, it's in chapter one of second Peter. And he said, um, grace and peace be multiplied to you according to his divine power that's given you all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him. So we've got to know him. And uh, that's called us to glory and virtue. And he's given us exceeding great and precious promises. And he said, but besides all this, at giving all diligence, add to your faith. Mm -hmm. So yes, we believe that Jesus is the son of God, but there's things that we need to do. Yeah. So we add to our faith. Right. We add virtue. Right. To virtue, we add knowledge. To knowledge, temperance or self-control. Yeah. Patience, godliness, kind, brotherly kindness. Wow, we need to remember to be brotherly kindness to people. <laughs> right. Charity. For if all these things are in you and abound, they make you that you shall not be barren or unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So in other words, you won't forget. You won't forget. Now, let me just show you. So it's like it builds into your life. This is so important mm -hmm. that Peter said this three times in the same <laughs> chapter. Listen to what he said. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance. That's number one of these things, though you know them and be established in the truth. I'm going to put you in remembrance. Then he says again in the next verse, yea, I think it's necessary as long as I'm in this body to stir you up by putting you in remembrance. Right. Two. 
Okay. Knowing that shortly I'm going to be leaving here. I got to remind you of everything I said. Moreover, I will endeavor that you may be able after I leave to have these things always in remembrance. It re so three, three times. times wow. <laughs> in three verses. Right. Peter is saying. That's, that's what you call saying it. Yeah. yeah. So what we're talking about is everything is upheld by the word of God. And Peter is ex exhorting all the people he's ministering to that. Yes, you've got faith, but there has to be more. Yeah. If you it's build, go build into this action. into your life, it's going to produce fruit and you don't need faith anymore for something that you already have. That's right. But yeah. it's like, you know, I call it faith additives, mm -hmm. like, you know, uh, STP in your gas tank, you right. know, gives it more power. Yeah. But so if you add these things to your faith, meaning you're putting into practice a lifestyle, mm -hmm. a lifestyle. See, that's the thing that some people just don't connect with. Right. They expect if you say you're a Christian, a lot of people have a, a expectation of what that looks like. Right. And sometimes they don't. Uh, see what they're expecting. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about this before the broadcast that today's culture just kind of bakes into people's thinking this immediacy of everything that they want to see immediate results. Mm -hmm. And while that is valid scripturally to a certain point, there's also this factor about the long run. Right. So the thing that you're pointing out about Peter is he's he's telling them, look, if, if you go at it this way, you'll not only have it by faith, but you'll also be able to stick with it. Right. Yeah. Well, see, and look how so the long run matters. So he's having to remind him that remind everybody yeah. that this, you know, three times. Yeah. And so today we're talking about be reminded. You have to. Now, who's going to do that for you? He, Peter's telling them, but we have to remind ourselves. Right. It's so it's but like you're right, a daily comparison. Because people have a tendency to drift. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. That's drift. why we read that in Hebrews chapter two. Yeah, right. About. Wow. Take the more earnest heed. Right. That you follow this example. Right. Because you're going to slip or right. drift if you don't. Right. So in other words, there's there's other scriptures that say faith without works is dead mm -hmm. because there's no corresponding action. You say you believe it, but you're not. And in and, and James, it talks about looking in a mirror. You think yeah. you the know yeah. who you are. Yeah. But when you leave, you do forget. the word. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Do doing it builds it into your life. You know, be a doer, not just a hearer. Yeah. Deceiving yourself. Right. That you're somebody that you're not. Right. Praise the Lord. And boy, that's a message in itself. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, point being is that when the test comes and it does come, uh, we've witnessed uh, multitudes of tests. The, these things are now like worldwide uh, uh, tests sh that they shake everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you know how to... Uh, appropriate the promises of God in your life and you're reminded of that, mm -hmm. then you're not shaken. And I'll tell you something. This is all still in this first chapter of Second Peter. Yeah. It actually culminates. Well, it, it actually, you know, they, they divided it into chapter and verses. But remember, he said, I'm telling you all this. I'm telling you all this. Then it goes into the story. We have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known to you the power and coming of the Lord Jesus Christ we were eyewitnesses yeah so you know we're telling you we saw this yeah we saw Jesus we touched him we heard his teaching we saw him die we were eyewitnesses that he died right. on the cross right he was put in the tomb he was raised from the dead and we beheld him. Yeah. We ate dinner with him. <laughs> we talked to him. 
we were eyewitness for he received from God the Father honor and glory and a voice came from heaven this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased this voice came from heaven but here's the here's the point that Peter's making we also have a more sure word of prophecy where to you do well that you take heed as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the day star arises in your hearts till you get this. Right. Knowing first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For prophecy came not in old times by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So Peter's reminding everybody, there's going to be people that are going to try to pull you this way. Right. That's the thing They're that Jesus... They're going to try to refute the word. Jesus said, number one thing, don't be deceived. Right. So Peter's saying here, we were eyewitnesses. Right. So, but Peter is putting his, his experience... Mm-hmm. He's putting his experience with actually knowing Jesus personally, mm -hmm. with actually seeing him on the cross and being raised from the dead. He's putting his experience below the word of God. Yeah. So we're talking about upheld. Yeah. The whole so, universe. So that gives the word preeminence. The word is on top. The God's word is... We read it in another lesson. Right. Will never pass away. Right. The earth is going to pass away. The world is going to, but the word will never pass away. Right. So here's Peter, who's a major apostle. Yeah. An eyewitness. You know, the rock who got the revelation that Jesus. Right. Is the Messiah, the Son of God. And he's saying that we have a more sure word. Yeah, he's putting his testimony his and his experience, experience below the word. The word. And who is Jesus? He's the word made flesh. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So this is exciting. So that that is. And this is the thing to be reminded of is that his promises never fail. Uh, he And, and it, it takes an adjustment. We're going to talk about that. Uh, in this series, but it takes an adjustment for people to get used to the idea that God has integrity because they've been lied to continuously since the Garden of Eden, actually, <clears throat> about God's intentions and so who He is. There's people who have prayed and they've um, saw, thought they were believing, but see, God's Word doesn't fail. Right. So if in your experience in your life, if there have been things that you thought you were standing on the word of God and and things didn't work out the way you thought they should, always remember that God's promises never change. They're always true and they never fail. So then we have to go back to the drawing board, so to speak. Right. And take a look at uh, some there are some criteria. Right. That's exactly what Peter is doing. And he's, yeah, he's not elevating his own experience over the truth. And so there's even though he was standing right there, it didn't make any difference. He's still just a witness. Well, one of the big things that is important in using our faith for any promise of God is to make sure that we are in that we have no unforgiveness in our life. Right. Because that's another promise, actually, that if we can't, don't forgive others, then God can't forgive us. In another passage, it says He doesn't hear our prayers. Right, because love never fails. That's, that's the promise. Yeah. Well, when He's talking to even husbands and wives, He right. said, so your prayers won't be hindered. Yeah. Because if you've got a squabble going on, in, even in your own home, you know, it, things have to get resolved. And there has to be, you know, forgiveness and there has to be a oneness and a coming together. So your prayers aren't hindered. hindered. Right. right. And so for the woman, for the wife, it talks about your covering. Right. You know, that, that uh, you know, you have a covering when you're living in 
forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So some home lives can be really, really challenging, but you just do what you can do on your side of the fence. Right, right. So in other words, marriage is a covenant too. That's right. Right. And when and God is upholding that covenant. Right. And so when you uh, swear the oath, so to speak, or take the vow, you're only vowing to one side. You can only do your part. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And that's the good part is yeah. that, you know, in spite but if, of if one in a marriage, if one person holds fast, God is able to work, redeem move, actually yeah, yeah, and do something, the, the whole thing, shift things around yeah. <laughs> through the one believer. But, you know, everybody has a free will. Mm -hmm. And so you ha people yeah. have to be willing. And you that's, know? that's the reason why we're holding on. <laughs> it's because God has given everybody a chance. Amen. Well, we were just talking this morning about how he was, God was appealing to me about giving nations chances because he's, he's going to do that. Amen. You know, so we can, we can either go along with him or we can miss it. But um, I, I personally have decided that we're going to go along with it and, and we're going to help these wayward nations. So I've got one more scripture to read um, as we are finishing up today. Okay. And we're talking about everything being upheld by the word of his power. This is 2 Timothy 3.16 okay. that says, all scripture, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. All scripture is profitable. For doctrine, that's for truth. Right. For reproof, that means, if, or for correction. correction. For instruction in righteousness, that the man of God or the woman of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished to all good works. Right. So there's all scripture, everything that's upheld by his word, you know, you can stand on the word of God knowing that it's profitable. Yeah. It's better than any, um, you know, magazine or success story that you could look at. Mm -hmm. You know, it's God's word. Yeah. And it will correct your course if you're making a mistake in the way you're handling business dealings. If you're making a mistake in the way you're uh, dealing with your health. Right. If you're making a mistake in dealing with relationships. Every bit of scripture has the answer for every situation that you face. Right. So this, this is the bedrock of faith and believing is, is w being willing to ascribe integrity to Almighty God, yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not going to change uh, him uh, because he's going to remain constant anyway. Yeah. But it does, uh, that's what's necessary for us to uh, be able to receive from him by faith the things that he's promised. So, you know, don't, um, you know, not the world, no, not the world doesn't get all excited and jump up and down about a lot of these truths. Uh -huh. And so, you know, you may be someone who's new to the word, new to being a Christian, new to hearing some of these promises and really your heart is stirred and you really believe them. That's the reason why the Lord's, God's program in the earth is the local church. God actually planned for every person to be connected through the body of Christ. Jesus is actually the head of the body of Christ. And then we're all, the Bible calls members in particular. We're all joined together in, in one man in Christ. And so if you're alone and you have not found a church home, we just want to encourage you to make sure you get connected so that you are strengthened and you're being upheld by the fellowship and the relationship that you have with other like-minded believers. Um, stick with us. We'll be right back. Billy Burke is coming back to FLM this August 7th through the 9th. Experience God's healing power and restoration like never before. For more information, visit our website at faithlandmarks.org. Through your faithful support, our missions efforts continue to grow and reach new people all over the world. 
even areas affected by war and strife do not hinder our progress. Moldova, a country bordering Ukraine to the southwest, is just one of the areas that we support ministries in. Since February of 2022, CRU has been providing aid to thousands of refugees evacuating Ukraine due to rising aggressions from Russia. Recently, we received a detailed report on the mission's efforts ongoing there. Here's a summary of what has been accomplished in the past couple of months. Despite all the horror of the situation with the war, we are continually having conversations about Christ with people of all ages, standing together for the destruction of enmity between Ukrainians and Russians. Until recently, we only had 745 refugees come through our Crew Refugee Center. Now we have been receiving refugees by the tens of thousands. We are distributing food, Christian literature, and preaching the gospel to everyone we can. We are believing for additional resources so that we can do even more. When you sow into missions, you equip FLM with the ability to support these areas impacted by the world. Now is the time. Sow your seed into missions today. Come on out to Rebuild America's free sports clinics and community outreaches. Enjoy free games, snacks, and more this July 1st, 16th, and 22nd. For more information, visit RebuildAmerica.tv. Hi, I'm Yasmin Chapard, lead teacher and administrator here at the Faith Landmarks Child Development Center. We provide care for children two months through four years of age. Our K2 through K4 classes are taught using the Abeka curriculum, while our infant and toddler classes are taught Spanish and Sign Language. Our teachers are amazing. They treat each child as their own. So what are you waiting for? Enroll your child today. So glad that you've been with us today. Uh, we ended out that uh, end of that segment. Uh, Pastor Cherie was talking about church uh, involvement. And so we want to say to you that you're certainly welcome to become, you can actually become a member of this church. We have church members on the other side of the world that have joined this church and participate in the things that we do. So we'd love to see you on board. You can go faithlandmarks.org, uh, click on the membership button, and uh, there's a, a membership class that you can take and you can actually become a member of the church. Right, and so we look forward to seeing you. Also, if there are any prayer requests you have, you can click on that uh, spot and send them on to us and we'll be glad to pray for any needs that you might have. Thank you for joining us on Contact. And we'll see you back next time.